Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvy episode, and besides trying to tilt my glasses so they don't uh, reflect in the monitor, this particular one is on the iWave Cube Microwave, which is a very tiny, low wattage microwave that you can get on Amazon. Now, I think the price has gone up on this microwave, so it's now about $350. And of course, that's an outrageously high price, so this is a specialty item. What makes it so special? Well, it's very tiny, it's very portable, it has a handle on it. Um, it's got a little shelf on the inside, so it doesn't even have a turntable, but it uses only about 600 watts input where most other microwaves will use 900, 1200, 1500 or so watts. So if you're in a situation where you need something that draws very little current, this is the one to use. And those situations might be, uh, let's say you're in a dorm room and, and the circuit breakers are always blowing, or if you're in a, a situation where you want to run something off an inverter, let's say you're bringing your little microwave to the work site, and play, things like that could be useful for this particular microwave. Please note it only produces 350 watts out, so it's going to take roughly about three, maybe two to three times uh, is long to heat an item and uh, so this is really designed for single use only. So let's watch the little video I made and see if this particular specialty gadget is a gadget that you might want. Okay we're going to do a quick video on the iWave Cube Microwave. This is a little mini microwave that has a footprint that's 10 by 10 inches and a little bit over 12 inches high. So it's a really tiny microwave that you can fit in any space kind of designed for your office or maybe a workroom or a studio apartment or a dorm room or even if you're operating out of a vehicle this would probably work with an inverter as long as it was a sine wave type inverter as opposed to one of those cheaper ones. So let's take a look at the top of it just to show you what's up there. Not too much. We have a handle. There's my hand. There's a handle. Very very lightweight. And then you have some simple controls. Obviously you don't have a lot of power controls because this is only a low wattage microwave. Now it's advertised as a six, I'm going to go back down here, it's advertised as a 600 watt microwave but the reality is that's 600 watts input and it's only 350 watts output. So you think well that's not very good but actually it is because it's perfect for situations where you really can't put a high wattage item on the line. So if you're in a, a room that doesn't have very recent circuitry or you have a lot of stuff plugged into the wall, this is only going to consume 600 watts and um, it puts out 350. Now that means that your microwave times are going to increase by two to three times what you normally are used to and at that $350 price tag, you might think to yourself, well, I could just buy uh, a microwave that's 600 watts at Walmart for $50 or $60. And in most cases, you could. But again, those microwaves are going to be using probably 900 or more watts, 1,000 watts, just to generate that 600 watts. And that might be too much for the circuitry that you, um, you that you have available. So let's take a look at the inside of it. I'm going to open it up. I'm reaching over here. You can see it's a very small inside. It's about a 12 or 13 ounce cup in there. And you can see there's no turntable. And so if you were cooking something like a small TV dinner, you'd have to rotate it at least once during the cooking process, um, which is no big deal. It certainly has enough power to make popcorn or a pocket uh, sandwich or a small TV dinner like an entree or warm up your coffee or do that kind of stuff. If you wanted it like in a uh, workshop or uh, some kind of therapy room you could heat up pads and different things with it too. So um, again very simple, very easy to use. You can find it on Amazon and places like that. Um, I've seen some reliability issues listed in the comments on Amazon. I personally have not had any problems whatsoever with the microwave. It's worked perfectly for me and I've used it for a number of months now. So kind of a specialty item, a little bit expensive, but I think worth the money if you have that special need of a really tiny microwave that really consumes very, very little wattage 
and uh, does the job for most small re uh, heat ups and, and small cooking jobs. And if you get some time, please subscribe to my podcast. It's called or Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike. You can find it on iTunes and other podcatching sites. And of course, please subscribe to this video channel. Thanks so much. Well, there you have it. That's the iWave Q Microwave. Please give my podcast a listen. It's called Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike. And please subscribe. Take care, everyone.